Bryant Creek, Rosalie, Alabama. Up here checking out a uh, biosolid runoff, and of course, as you see right here, it, here's some foam white and dark brown, which is indicative of uh, sewage waste on a stream. Also, as I'm looking at this water, normally in North Alabama, you see a body of water like this, you're gonna see medicine. I see no sign of life. at all. See no no aquatic life, no crayfish, no no dragonfly larva, no minnows, nothing moving in this creek. And again that's a pretty heavy foam right down here. Some landowner says the phone's been much worse. <laughs> Mr. Kirby, when was the last time any, any of this sewage sludge was applied to this property around here? Uh, about two months ago. About two, about 60 days ago, okay. Now, for me, it's a little concerning that I see no aquatic life in this stream. All right, this is Gary Morgan. We're on Mr. Kirby's property back over here. Got cattle here. We're looking at a runoff from an adjoining field that where the biosolids, the sewage sludge, was applied to the field to the, uh, looks like maybe south uh, east of him here. Fence line right over there, Mr. Kirby's standing by the fence line. And, uh, Water here. Got some frogs in here, but the water is showing some shimmery silver material on top. Of course, as you notice, the uh, very brown. It's interesting. Ah, very distinct odor right, right here. Now, when you get down to the ground, that could be methane. Well, it was back there in the, at uh, the creek there a while ago. Uh, what was that creek name again? Bryant Creek. Bryant Creek. Of course, there was sludge, obviously. Sludge runoff that had foamed up, and that's a very telltale sign of, of sewage runoff. Uh, this discoloration of the water here, a little bothersome. Took it right in there. Gravel. You can record? Yeah. Okay. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Turn it sideways here. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. You got a distinct uh, hey, can you get a can you get a picture of this oil sheen on the water right here? See that? I can see it down here close. I don't know if you can. Yeah, I can see it. Uh -huh. Got about a, yeah, about a pint of water in this quart jar here. You see that foam right there? I, I seen that. <coughs> All right, this is Gary Morgan with arclight.blogspot.com in the borough. We're out here on Mr. Jim Kirby's farm. He took us around, showed me some cattle. And what type of cattle was that, that that you were talking about, that blue? Romanola. Romanola. Now. From the Belgian blue. Belgian blue. Holstein half Romanola right there. That cow. That's her cow. Right. right. That's a two-thirds Romanola right there. It's beginning to get quieter, you know. This here is a three-quarter Romanola right there. Romanola. Well, right there, it does look like a blue, don't it? 
they crop out like that. Yeah. He's got a couple of, uh, I think they're mixed breeds, aren't they? There are, there are some Belgian blues showing up in the Romanola. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really showing up because we've seen them. Well, he brought us out here, and I wanted to see his property. And Will Whaley of the uh, Daily Sentinel came out here with me, and uh, we've been talking about it. He's taking showings around. He's got about 200 acres, I believe, right? Yes, sir. And uh, got a lot of ponds out here. We got talking about his fish down in the ponds. We're not going to tell you where those are at because he got some nice fish down there. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> Mr. Kirby is a steward of his land and doing a good job out here. There's a little concern about the, uh, the biosolids. It's biosolids, the uh, sewage sludge, which is being brought in out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, like I said, this is out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's been stated that there is no problems with it. I'm not so sure about that. We've seen foam in, in the creek down there uh, in uh, Bryant Creek. Uh, one part of it, quite a bit of foam. Part of the creek does not have life in it. The other part does have life in it. Water bugs and minnows swim around. There's a large section of the creek which has no life in it. That is a concern. And, of course, that's a telltale sign. You've got some problems in it. But anyway, this is Gary Morgan, and we're out of here going back down the mountain, okay? And thank you, sir. Appreciate it, Mr. Kirby. Appreciate it.